In this short video, we'll be looking at the installation of the QF2 fire protection compound detail. The Quellfire products that we'll be using are the QF2 fire protection compound, the MW shuttering slab, and a QWW 110 CE marked intermittent wrap. The application itself will be a 110 mil plastic pipe penetrating through an oversized hole for a solid concrete floor slab that is a depth of 150 mil. So let's begin. Firstly, you will see that within the aperture, the MW shuttering slab has already been installed into the bottom section. It is flush with the underside of the concrete slab, leaving a 100 mil gap above it. The shuttering slab when installed was slightly larger than the aperture and installed compressed to provide a tight friction fit. The QWD 110 wrap is then fitted tightly around the pipe directly on top of the shuttering slab and secured in place using the self-adhesive tabs provided with the product. An important note for the QWD wrap is that the intermescent remains inside the orange polythene bag and does not need to be removed. As mentioned, the QWD wrap sits tightly on top of the shuttering slab so that when the QF2 fire protection compound is poured into the aperture, the wrap will be flush with the bottom edge and visible from the underside once the shuttering is removed or cut back. The QW wrap should not be protruding and should not be sat back within the compound either. The QF2 fire protection compound is poured into the aperture around the wrap as shown to a minimum depth of 100 mil. The mixing ratios for the compound can be found on the QF2 installation instructions to allow for different consistencies. The QF2 fire protection compound will not only provide a fire resistant seal, but also a low bearing one once it is fully cured. The curing time is approximately 24 hours, but reaches its full low bearing strength after 28 days, depending on site conditions. Once cured, the MW shuttering slab can remain in place, but we do advise that the shuttering is cut back to expose the wrap. This will allow anyone carrying out inspection to see the wrap from below and also ensures that the intermescent will be exposed to the heat of the fire to react and expand to close the void as that plastic pipe melts away. Any other shuttering type used, such as plywood, should be fully removed once the compound is cured. To find this, you go to our website, go to the technical support drop down, go to standard details, search for QF2 CF150 08, and you will see the detail. Here it has all the information that we've just discussed the fire resistant ratings are shown, the plastic types we've tested, etc. But if you need any other information regarding this or any of our other QF2 fire protection compound details, the information, like I said, can be found on our website, or you can contact our technical team using the contact details that will be displayed on your screen now.